Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll explain how to use the semi-automated heart segmentation tool in MIS 26. This tool is part of the cardiovascular module and it's extremely useful in speeding up heart segmentations, especially when you're trying to separate the four chambers and the main blood vessels into individual masks so that they can be visualized separately or 3D printed in different colors. In this tutorial, you will discover how to segment the different chambers and vessels of the heart and how to, of course, use the semi-automated tools present within MIS to increase the segmentation efficiency. You'll find the CT heart tool in the advanced segment menu under the cardiovascular section. Despite the name of this tool, you can use it both on either CT data or MRI data. To begin, click the manual mode and full heart. In addition to this workflow, there is a separate video that uses the automatic mode. When the manual mode and full heart have been clicked, adjust the red bounding box by dragging it to get it as close to the heart as possible. And by doing this, you can eliminate any of the surrounding anatomy. Moving on, you can select separate thresholds or single thresholds. When you select separate thresholds, you set the thresholds for both the left and right sides of the heart respectively. Drag the sliders for the minimum and maximum of this range to a value where you capture the blood pool of the heart chambers sufficiently. I'm now going to place C points into the chambers and vessels of the heart to segment out. To do so, firstly I'll click the LA button and place a C point in the left atrium by left clicking on a 2D view in any of the three medical planes. You then need to look at the other planes to make sure the C point sphere is staying within the left atrium. If not, you can always drag the center of this C point around by holding down the left mouse button. Next, I'm going to select the LV and click the left ventricle. I'll scroll around to find its location and left click to place another C point. Typically, I like to work in the axial images and I'll click on the left ventricle. If you need to, you can always adjust the size of any C point by holding down the left mouse button and dragging the outer ring of the respective C point. This also shows on the other planes and keeps the C point within the left ventricle. I'll then now repeat the same process for both the RA and RV. You can also place multiple C points for each structure, so you can capture long vessels such as the aorta. I'll place one in the ascending aorta and then another one in the descending aorta, and I'll place multiple C points for the pulmonary artery as well. If you misplace any C point, you can remove it by highlighting the C point in the list and then clicking delete below. For the pulmonary artery, I'll place one near the roots and then one in the left and right pulmonary artery branches. There is also an other category. So if there are any other structures you want to segment out besides the chambers and vessels, you can also add C points and segment those things out as well. However, this is optional. Once I'm done placing my C points, I can go ahead and hit apply. Calculation depends on the data set. It might take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to calculate. So once it is done calculating, you'll see we have our C points under our objects list. Turn the mask 3D preview on to preview the masks for the chambers and vessels. You can toggle these on with the eye icon. I'll now scroll through the data set to make sure it did everything correctly. If not, you can always adjust these C points, including their location and size. You can add additional C points or remove C points if something didn't come out right. Once you have edited the C points, you can then click apply again to update based on those changes. If everything looks good, you can go ahead and click OK to exit the tool. 
Once calculated, if you see in our masks tab up here, we have all of our masks listed. There is one for the blood pool along with the other masks that were created using the CT heart tool. If I hold down shift and select the top and bottom mask within the list, you can see that all masks can be visualized within the 3D viewport. Thank you.